the telecom story is no longer a story that we can talk about in the rest of the world. And people ask us questions as to what happened. All I can say is that certain events took place and there was a level of sensationalism that took over and the government was in a, in a sense um, limited in its policy prescriptions and had to move forward in a certain way which ultimately has resulted in what we have seen a couple of days ago. But the result is there for all to see. And all that I can say is, in retrospect, that policy is best left to the government. If there is any wrongdoing in implementation of policy, certainly courts should intervene. But if you bind down the government, to a particular prescription, the results can be very negative. Remember, the dynamics of the market changes from time to time, from year to year. What happened in 2010 cannot be compared to what happened in 2008. What happened in 2010 cannot be compared to what happened in 2012. You cannot extrapolate figures and sensationalize them and destroy the hen that laid the golden egg. Who benefited? The consumer did not benefit. The whole purpose of the policy is for the consumer to benefit. We talked about high revenues in 3G. The government surely got more than one lakh crore. But what happened? The government got the revenue. The consumer got nothing. Is that the purpose of any policy? There was no rollout of 3G. What use is it for government to get revenues and for the consumer not to be empowered?